For some of you that know, I have a cat. Her name is Vanilla Bean. Hi, puppy. I've had her since she was a kitten and she's been a blessing to have. Come the end of this month, she's gonna be two years old. During this time, I've been trying to find ways to control her shedding seasons after finding out that she's actually a medium hair instead of a short hair. My go-to has been Uproot for the more harder and durable surfaces. For delicate and knitted materials, I use Molly Paws' silicone brush, which is similar to the Uproot. Now, I admit, for bigger things like couches, I turn to Bissell's handheld vacuum for quick fixes. For some time though, I was having problems finding ways to control the hair on my clothes. I've found products like the Fur Zapper and Bounce's pet hair dryer sheets to be great for a time, but I still had to use a lint roller before and sometimes after I washed them. Then I found out that Uproot came out with dryer sheets, so I bought them to try them out so you don't have to. And hey, if you don't mind, please put a like on this video, feel free to share, and if you enjoy this review, subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. So. The big question is, what's the difference between Bounce and Uproot's dryer sheets? Well, nothing really. Both products uses ingredients that are meant to cover over the fabric, breaking the static bond from your clothes. However, Uproot, for some strange reason, is different. You have two options. You can go either the traditional route and get quicker results, or for a much better result, Put your clothes in the dryer first for 10 to 20 minutes, then wash or dry. Weird, I know. So I decided to try it out. The Batman shirt will be going through the best method, which is where I put it in the dryer first, then wash and dry. The Universal shirt will go through normal washing. I was supposed to try to test these out each month to see the results, but I forgot, so I apologize for that. But I will say, after a year of using this product, there are results. With each wash, I realized I wasn't using my lint roller as often as I used to. As for the test, I noticed the Batman shirt had less hair than the Universal. So I've started using the dry wash dry method a lot more. Overall, in my opinion, Uproot has once again been true to their word in regard to their products. The wand definitely picks up more hair than any product that I know of. The dryer sheets repel more fur off my clothes than most. So for now, I'm still sticking with Uproot for my fur cleaning needs. A while back, I got a comment where someone asked me if I was going to try their latest product, where it's a pet grooming kit. I said no at first because my cat does not like loud noises. But according to their commercials, they guarantee that the noise level is quiet enough not to scare your fur babies. So I may give this product a try. And with the tools that come with it, this may be the answers to a lot of my questions. So stay tuned for my review on their latest product. And if you haven't, may I suggest you see my review on their original Uproot Cleaner Pro, where I give a little demonstration to why I love this tool so much.